anything for the waifus. Good evening, Raiders, and welcome to episode 14 of the Orville Recap. I'm CM Frey, and I have some very exciting news. Yes, King's Raid has 50% discounts on all heroes and all costumes! <laughs> If there's a hero you've been wanting to add to your roster or a costume that you've been drooling over, I mean, uh, casually thinking about purchasing, then now is the perfect time to bite the bullet. And I must admit that the timing is perfect because the Class of Heroes costume set has been released for 8 new heroes. And you know, the newest hero in King's Raid, Evan, is also 50% off. That's only 3,000 rubies. He is a priest with a physical attack type and at least on paper has a lot of utility. So if you get him and try him out, let us know what you think of him in the comment section below. And to help you on your quest to acquire his unique gear, there is a limited time event happening now called the Step Up Summon. You can spend 5,000 rubies for an increased draw rate for soul stones and unique gear for Evan, Zera, Tayli, Pansirone, and Kibera. King's Raid has also rolled out a new semester rollbook. Upon login each day, you will receive a reward. And for example, on the 14th and final day, you will receive 1,000 mystical soul fragments. The rollbook's first reward, 100 stamina potions, might come in handy because we have a farming event just for you. It's time to organize your team to defeat dragon raids and field raids. If you manage to clear these raids 200 times, you will receive 20 reforged tickets as well as 50 stamina potions. Also, what's really nice is that through our Stamina Refill event happening now, you'll recover 2,000 Stamina Points for 2,000 Stamina Points spent. In other news this evening, there have been changes made to the Tier 8 gear tickets available in the Forge. The T8 gear tickets have been expanded to include not only Legendary gear, Dragon gear, and Lava gear, but now they also include Dark Legion gear and Hero Protection and Suppression gear. Furthermore, grinding unwanted gear will result in corresponding unique powder. For example, grinding Dark Legion gear will grant you Dark Legion powder. Using this powder, you can craft a corresponding gear ticket. And what's even better is that most of these are three option selector tickets, not just two. Hallelujah! And in addition to the hero balance changes that have rolled out this patch, the world bosses themselves have seen some balance adjustments. The system itself has been revamped too. Instead of getting two entry keys each day, you will receive one. However, don't fret, the rewards will still amount to the same number as they used to. And don't forget to visit Loman at Orville Castle to check out the three new world boss artifacts. There is also a King's School activity recruitment happening now. You can post your applications to these clubs and receive rewards. For example, the task to join the art club is to create your own King's Raid fan art. Or to join the drama club, you can take a photo of yourself in King's Raid cosplay. I've seen a lot of great King's Raid cosplays out there, so I'm pretty sure that they will accept your application. There are more clubs to apply for, so if you're interested in this, be sure to check out the official notice on our Plug Cafe. And in our final news this evening, the winner from the last Orville Recaps burning question was none other than Robinskeel89. Congratulations! Robin's Keel 89 said, along with Theo, they would watch Netflix as well as help their guild members complete stages. How thoughtful of you! And now, for this week's burning question. Evan is an alchemist. What would you ask Evan to make you by using his powers of alchemy? For example, Mia asked Evan if he could make her some meatloaf by using his alchemy powers, but unfortunately it didn't work out, but it was worth asking. And uh, I think I would ask Evan for some weights so I could exercise more efficiently at my home during quarantine. One raider who answers the burning question will receive a special item summon times 10, one of those, and all participants who enter will receive 50 mystical soul fragments. Nice! Don't forget to fill out the form completely, otherwise you will not be able to receive the reward. Well, that's it for this week's Orval Recap. I wanted to say thank you, and I appreciate that you came to join me in this week's episode, and that I hope that you will like the video, share it with your friends, and after you hit the subscribe button, don't forget to click the bell to stay updated on our future uploads. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time, Raiders. Bye!